Hey guys, I know my camera quality is so shit, uh, but I did just want to make a really quick video because I want to address something um, about my um, shiny ranking video, the ranking in different categories video. Um, so if you didn't watch this that video or you're not interested in my ranking, don't bother watching this video because this is basically just addressing something that I've seen people take issue with and addressing um, just some kind of general comments that I'm seeing. Um, so um, I wanna I wanna put a few things out there in my statements, um, which uh, I did this I did this so I did this ranking at the end where I ranked for solo discographies. I'm not sure why I did this um, because. It's really not a fair rank, and um, people were saying, like, I mean, obviously, I mean, he only has one song, so, like, it's not a fair rank, but it was comparing Johnny Entertainment's discographies, and that's where the issue lie, lay, um, that I have actually been a shawal, I've been into K-pop for over a year now. Um, I'm not as into it as I used to be, but um, I have been keeping up. I am, I'm, like, aware of K-pop for, like, over a year now. And, like, I actually know, like, what's... I have experience standing and all that. It's not just, like, oh, I know K-pop exists. You know what I mean? Oh, I was, like, pretty hardcore into it. So, um... So, with Shiny, um, I know I've been a Shawal since, like, April of last year, so I've been a Shawal for almost a year, and I was taking it upon myself to, to kind of take baby steps, and I was, I was very, 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 very deep into the fandom to a point where it was kind of damaging my mental health, and not because of, like, other fans, although... It was, like, us collectively just being fucked up and, like, collectively, <laughs> like, I would have panic attacks, or not panic attacks, I would have, like, anxiety attacks because my friends would, like, not respond or they'd say things and I would, like, worry about them, worry something happened to my friends or whatever, you get the point. But that happens with any fandom, it's not exclusive to Shiny, it's just literally when I meet somebody and they act a certain way, I get, like, overprotective and I freak out because I freak out somebody's going to do something I, I don't really want to go into that but um yeah so but in terms of the actual like content I was consuming it was getting to a point where it was just so unhealthy because I was just constantly agonizing over it and if, if you don't know what I'm talking about like I said why are you watching this video uh, if you watch the shiny video hopefully you you know what I'm talking about I, I don't want to like say it uh, just here because I'm really not. It's, it's late, bro. Uh, and like I haven't put like a trigger warning on this video, so I don't want to be like. I want I want people to be able to under to like watch this and like understand what I'm saying. So I don't I don't want to like use a bunch of like triggering language. But if if you all know what I'm talking about, then um, it's something that really. Is something I would just agonize over, and it's it's really just not. I mean, it's still something that I'm I'm affected by, uh, but which I said I was so deep into it that it was bad for me. Well, if I would see anything remotely triggering, it would send me into just like complete like spiral. It would send me into a complete spiral. Um, and it's just it's just. It got to a point where it was unhealthy, and this is something that happens a lot with my interest. I'll get too far, like, down a rabbit hole to a point where it's unhealthy. As in, I'm in a fandom, I'm, like, interacting with toxic fans or engaging in toxic behavior, or I'm just seeing... And, like, the whole K-pop thing, like, the reason I'm taking a step back from it, like, permanently is because, um... Basically, it's just it's too stressful to to watch. It's like yes, I have friends who like keep like that's cool, but to to like engage in discourse because there is just every week there is a new there's bullying scandals, there's racism, cultural appropriation, there's the Spotify thing going on. It's just there's there's too fucking much, and I just can't handle the stress of it. And the, in other words, 
it's it's something that I can like avoid being stressed over if I just don't like deal with it it's not the end of the world so I want to be casually able to able to casually enjoy things about stressing out when it comes to shiny it's more like I used to be like comment patrolling I would look at every single like thread and just like look for people who were being mean to them or saying bad things about Onion and I would I would like just it fucked me up because I would do this all the time so I had a huge struggle I have to explain like I knew about what happened before I got into shiny and I I kind of found I don't remember exactly how I f how I found out I mean I think I just watched videos about like some of these issues in k-pop and they mentioned it but um I eventually made the connection to Taemin because I did figure out who Taemin was and I was like watching Taemin's videos. Um, and if it wasn't obvious from my, um, uh, my very lengthy Never Gonna Dance Again video, and just literally all of my Never Gonna Dance Again videos, I, I don't want to be like, I don't want to talk like a shipper because people are going to say it's really toxic that I ship. Uh, but I am a, I am a big Jongtae shipper, or at least I was when I was, like, really hardcore into it. I still, I mean, I still am, but I'm not, like, just, I, I'm just not as, like, I'm not as active on that account, and I'm just not as, like, I, I just don't obsess over it the way I used to. But, um... finding out like just finding out and like finding how all this would have affected him and this is still something that that makes me very frustrated is when i see people act like Taman isn't affected or he doesn't care because he doesn't show it and it just makes me really angry uh, he doesn't show it in obvious ways if you know Taman, there are ways that he shows it and also through his music that he shows it like so blatantly that in the entire fucking album i went on and on about about literally every literally every every time this was brought up or like alluded to in the album like I, I i just so um i know i'm not trying to say every song is about johnny and blah 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 blah. like i'm not gonna i'm not gonna do that and like they say oh this song's for the fans like yes it's for the fans okay or like yeah what's criminal about like i don't know like it, it's just like i get that but i stand by my assessments of two kids i've heard alternate explanations they don't make any sense to me i'm not gonna go down that rabbit hole but my point is, is that I'm going on this huge tangent to point that I be I was a Taman fan first, and when I found out the whole situation, because I was a Taman fan, it hit me really hard because I saw this like immediate connection with them, with the two of them, and um, and of course I, I do want to be very clear, like as a person and as just in shiny and just all the clips I've seen, I came to absolutely love Jonyeon on my own like it wasn't just Taman and that's one way I would just be a bit like fucked up over it but and I always love watching the old the old shiny clips I I feel weird watching the new clips uh but um I was never really able there were like specific shiny songs like specific things that I wouldn't watch or specific things that I that I wouldn't listen to and still don't really specific songs that I don't listen to like I I, I don't know if I'm I don't know if I'm alone in this because I because I have talked to a lot of people who were who were fans you know because I was like super active in this like fandom um and I haven't really heard anyone else uh say this uh but like I think I'm I think I'm totally alone in this but I that that I find like our page very triggering and um I'm glad it exists like I want to be very clear I'm not saying that it shouldn't exist or that I wish they didn't do it because like the opposite's true. I'm 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 glad it exists. I think we're all glad that hospitals exist, but we don't want to go to them. <laughs> y you know what I'm saying? Like hospitals are extremely triggering for me. My mom died of cancer and like just hospitals on the whole stress me the fuck out. So, Cuz like I was like, "Oh, my mom died of cancer." Like I'm not trying to get sympathy points, but what I mean is she had cancer and 
would have to go to the hospital a lot and would we'd have all emergency room scenarios and all this shit. So it's just something that I just, it, it's very triggering for me. Um, but of course I'm glad that hospitals exist because a bunch of people, a whole lot of people would be dead right now <laughs> if hospitals didn't exist. So, um, obviously with like our page, I'm glad it exists. But I find it really triggering, or maybe not as much now. I still don't like watch it, but like I feel like if I see a clip or something, I'm not gonna like get fucked up like I did before. But the point is, there's that. There's, um, I mean, stuff like th th that entire concert. I, I don't really want to. <laughs> I don't really want to talk about this. <laughs> it's just. Uh, but the point is. When I get into my interests, I get into them so deeply, and it really fucks me up. So I basically wasn't really able to listen to Jonyeon's solo material very much. So I, like, slowly did, and I was able to listen to, like, a couple of the singles and, like, the quote-unquote happy songs. And then, um, that's why I always use, like, she is, if I need, if I need a reference to something, because I, I can't. Like, I, I can't listen to the, like, I haven't, I haven't listened to any of his albums. I actually own the She Is album. Um, I was planning on listening to it. It doesn't mean that I won't, it's just that I'm, like, less, less active in the fandom now. But, um, I was planning on listening to it, so I'm, I'm, I'm working, I was work, like, I was working through, I was eventually going to listen to everything, eventually going to do that. And I'm not saying that I won't in the future, but it's an issue of, like, right now, I, I don't have that, like, interest. And I don't really want to, like, draw that back up. And, like, I don't want to trigger myself. I don't want to, like, do something that feels like work when I'm not even interested currently. So, that's why I haven't, like, the other members, I'll, I'll listen to their solo stuff beside, beyond their singles. I really have an outsider of Taman. Um, and, like, I think I heard a clip of a couple of Jonyeon's, like, songs that my friends play, which are, like, you know, not the happy ones, um, on Instagram stories. Like, previously, I would, like, mute that. I would run from it. Um, and now I'm kind of like, okay, I've never heard this clip, but, like, I'll, I'll listen to it. You know what I mean? It, it, the, the, like, story clips and stuff. So, like, I'm, 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 like, it's just less of a, like, thing. But the, the point is... Like, that entire album is pretty much off limits because I just, and I, I am just, I'll just say this. I feel really awkward. I, I don't know how to explain. It just feels awkward when I listen to music. I mean, it's different if, like, the person, I, I don't, I don't want to talk about, like, this whole concept of, like, that this whole topic, but, like... If the person is no longer living, okay, like, if they died a long time ago, or, like, before I was born, or, like, whatever, like, okay, I don't feel awkward, like, I don't feel awkward listening to Queen, it's not like, oh, Freddie Mercury is dead, <laughs> like, I mean, yeah, but I don't, I don't have that, like, and yes, I, it's sad, I, I'd be sad about it, I wish he was still here, but I don't have this, like, sense of like man I feel really uncomfortable listening to this it's not a matter of it's not a matter of posthumous releases because I do feel uncomfortable with that but with Pajonian's situation it's it's very ethical like he wanted it released so it's not like it's not like when they have like all these unfinished Juice World songs that are being released but I just it's just when somebody dies young especially in an upsetting way I find it really hard and really awkward <laughs> to listen to the, their music on the whole so like and, like, it doesn't bother me, like, him and Shiny, that's different, but, like, solo stuff, it's, what I mean is, like, I can't listen to Deuce World, I can't listen, I'm, it's just weird, like, it fucks me up, I'm just, like, this is just weird, I don't know how to, so, it's something that I feel awkward doing anyway, and I know, I know everybody would say, well, you should listen to them, you should, you know, they'd want you to still listen to the music, and, like, I get that, but it's just a matter of, like, it makes me just feel emotionally fucked up because I'm like I can't like get out of my head oh this person like even if it's somebody I'm not like a big fan of I can't get out of my head like oh this person died young this is like really depressing <laughs> uh because I just I just am have like intrusive thoughts and I just can't get that out of my head so it's like kind of impossible for me to like just chill and listen to Deuce World I'm gonna have that intrusive thought of like 
okay, this is fucked up. What could have been done to prevent this? It, like, it, you know, I'm using that as an example because it's something that isn't as close and personal to me as what I'm talking about, and I don't want to, like, you know. So, the point is, I haven't really listened to that much of John Young's solo work. That's pretty much the entire point of this video, um, because it was... It, was and probably still is but I don't really care at this point <laughs> it's, it's too emotionally difficult on the whole and I know you're gonna say but what about the happy songs what about the songs that aren't like depressing it's like <sighs> my issue with that is what I said is it, it, it I still can't it's, an, it's like an intrusive thought thing like I can't get it out of my head oh this happened like oh like, it leads you, like, every positive thought leads you to a negative thought. And that was my entire problem with how I was, like, just in the fan. That was just every time I have, like, a positive thought about it, it would, like, lead to a negative thought. And it's just, like, like, you just remember, oh, like, like, it, it just, it just, it's, it's so, like, intrusive to me that I can't really enjoy music when I'm constantly thinking about the fact of the person that that what happened and uh it's just this like agonizing thing because I go over my head of these situations about like what could have been done to prevent it because like I'm a huge advocate of like mental health awareness suicide prevention and all that like it's something that I that I like really it's something that like if I don't I don't want to get into like the personal shit but it's something that, that I care about and when I see like I, I just I I spend way too much time thinking about, like, oh, what could have been done, blah, 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 blah. And it's, like, it just sends me down that, like, rabbit hole. So it's, like, I, I really can't just listen to his music. <laughs> it's such a s simple thing that is, like, I, I don't know how to explain it. And, like, oh, you got into them after. It's, like, you're not a real fan or whatever shit. I don't fucking know. I don't even care at this point. I <laughs> legitimately do not fucking care. I just, um... So, me being ill-informed Ill about him rapping, I know he did rap a couple people's parts in a couple of the songs. I do know the song Crazy, and that's another rabbit hole I'm not going to go down because of the rapper involved in that and what happened recently and all, this, all the other stuff. I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole at all. Uh, there's another song somebody mentioned, which I don't remember which it was. Uh, but the point is about... I did not see those clips when I when I googled so basically what I did to do this was oh I'm gonna like oh I already know some good vocal clips so I'm gonna find some good vocal clips but then like I would just type Onu rapping or like John Yun rapping into into YouTube search bar and just find the clips I saw and then I would just listen to them and decide based on that so um because I just want to say it again I never thought this video would blow up so it's something about extens- it- this took extensive research. I mean, I didn't give it extensive research, I just- just kinda like, okay. Let me listen to this and get my opinion on it. And, I don't know, I remember at the time I couldn't- I couldn't decide who to rank higher at the time between Taman and Jonian in the rap category. And now that people have pointed out stuff to me, I'm- 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 I'm sure I know how I would rank it now. I don't need to see the clips for proof. I believe people that he can actually rap and that uh, the person who said they've never seen Tame and Rap seriously is lying because the verses have drip drop, as I pointed out in the video itself. <laughs> but uh, that's not the point. Uh, and you could, that, that's that's only arguably rap. So, um, <laughs> I mean, that that's a whole other conversation. Um, so, generally speaking, I agree, but the last thing, I, so the solo discography part of the ranking, I don't know why I did that, because I hadn't listened to everybody's discography, just like really the singles, except for Tame, and now, I, I don't, the people saying I should rank Jonium first because he wrote his own songs or shit like that, that doesn't feel, like, I, I don't, I don't mean I don't like that, but first of all, ranking your discography is overall, what songs do you think are better, not who wrote them? That's not how you base that. And second of all, uh, it's like maybe on his older stuff, like Taman's older stuff has always been great. He's always had like some level of creativity and input, but 
it, it is so different. Like, what Taman is doing now with the Never Gonna Dance Again project. So, I'll just say that if that video had come out before Never Gonna Dance Again, I probably would have conceded to my friends, and even if I hadn't listened to Jonyeon's discography, I would have said, okay, I know it's only right to put him first, right? But it was because Never Gonna Dance Again had come out, and... Like I said, it is just an absolute masterpiece of a project. Um, and um, I can see a ton of artistic vision and cohesion there. Um, people are saying, oh, well, he didn't write all the songs, blah, blah, blah. It's like, yeah, okay, but like, I know other, other artists have talked about this, like working with the songwriters are saying, hey, I want this song. And the way he performs and the way everything is structured, there is such an artistic vision there. And he just, and I'm not trying to say that in any way to put down Jonyeon, because like I said, I love them both, so like, I want to be very clear. Uh, of course, Jonyeon had an artistic vision, but I'm just saying that Taemin also does, and people are acting like he doesn't have an artistic vision. Like, oh, he just has no artistic input, blah, blah, blah. And um, it bothers me, because people do not give Taemin enough credit. I know people are going to say Taemin's arguably more popular, but... He's popular in the sense of like, oh, he's cute and he's a good dancer. He's not popular in like that, oh, look at his like albums are amazing. You know what I mean? Like within the fandom that Taemin does not get enough credit for everything besides dancing. Like, um, and obviously outside of the fandom, um, Onu, Onu in general does not get enough credit. Just, just terrible. Just but this is, this is like, off topic. Uh, but again, I literally love all of them so much. I have so much love in my heart for all of them. I don't want to, like, go on any sort of, oh, but this is, like, I legitimately adore them. But I just, I just wanted to put that out there because I didn't want people to, th so, so yes, I w the rap thing I was missing for because I just didn't see those clips. And the um, discography thing, I shouldn't have done it now like I said my opinion could change my opinion could change if I listen to all of Jordan's albums however I still just because Never Gonna Dance Again exists I still might say that like it's like before Never Gonna Dance Again came out I would have conceded to that and uh, and I would have put Jordan first even if I didn't listen but like and now maybe it was, like, new album hype of Never Gonna Dance Give. I, I still legitimately think it's a really good project. Um, and somebody said that, like, the other members didn't have the same opportunities as Taemin. And I'm not sure if they were referring to Jonyeon, you know, or if they were referring to the other members just not having solo opportunities. I just want to set a couple things straight that... It was interesting that, that Taemin got a solo before Jonyeon and in my own little head canon. Haha. <laughs> ha. But um, I, I do think there was some string pulling there because of how much Jonyeon would fanboy Taemin. I was like, I think he probably thought Taemin deserved the solo. And there might have been some string pulling there. That that's my that's my thinking. That he wanted Taemin to have the solo first. The other thing is that and even if he, even if that wasn't Jonyeon's doing, he was still incredibly supportive of Taemin's solo and was just, like, gushing over it. And people were acting like, oh, it's not fair that Taemin got a solo first. Like, if Jonyeon's not mad about it, then, like, why are you mad about it? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, like, that. And then, um, I'm pretty sure people were saying Onu just wasn't ready for a solo or just didn't want a solo. Like, he just wasn't interested in it or something. Um, for a long time, he just wasn't ready. He just liked doing stuff with the group. And I, I love Onu. Uh, so I've heard that. So I'm not saying the other members don't deserve more solos or anything like that. That's not what I'm trying to say. I really want another Onu solo. I want an act. I want like an official Minho solo. Like I want him to release like an EP or something. Not just, like, a song. And, I mean, the song was an SM Station song. So, like, does, does, I don't mean does it really count. Like, yes, it does. But you get the point. Um, so. Anyway. 
I just wanted to put that out there to tell you guys that why I did that the way I did it and that I'm I'm sorry I never expected a video to blow up I didn't think little things like that would get people upset with me um and I don't want it to come off like I don't appreciate Jonian or understand Jonian it's because I love him so much that I literally couldn't <laughs> couldn't listen to his music like the <laughs> I know that sounds so fucked up and doesn't make sense I tried to explain it to the best of my ability but like I don't even know if I'm going to upload this. I'm probably just going to not upload this. But, like... Yeah, so... Mm, I don't know. Anyway, bye. Blah, blah, blah.